Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint. Hashtag extend the joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita Flying High here. This is the recap for Manchester City and Tottenham in the Continental uh, League Cup quarterfinals. So the match ended 1-0. And um, <clears throat> City pretty much did like they did in the last match. But we did get some changes in the lineup for both teams from the last time we saw Tottenham, which was not the last match, but the last match prior, which they lost 2-0. So in this lineup, we got to see Park in the middle. She was in the lineup. And also, Alana Kennedy ended up coming back into the lineup in the back line. Kirsten wasn't available. So this pushed Alexandri out to the right back position. And yeah... I wish Kirsten was available because I've been loving her energy and what she's been what she's been providing for the team. So hey, it happens. She she wasn't fit or she something happened where she couldn't play. But now, yes, super dope that Jess Park was in the game because we that's something that I wanted to see and I feel like she had proved herself more than the other options we had available to Taylor to be able to get that start. Of course, nothing else changed. Alex, Zing, Alex Greenwood, Keatings, Layla, um, Hasegawa, Bunny, Sh Bunny, Hemp, and Chloe all in the line, uh, all in the lineup. Angel Doll was went there as well. <sighs> Tottenham, man, Tottenham. Ha it's like they've gotten better defensively, but offensively, it costed them. It costed them. It cost them. Uh, in the first match that we played Tottenham, City played Tottenham, it was 7-0. In the second match, it was 2-0. This one, it was 1-0. So you kind of see that they have improved defensively, but it cost them offensively. Because in this match, at the 85th minute, I ended up checking to see how many opportunities Tottenham actually had. And you know what I saw? A fat zero. Tottenham did not get, via Google, via Google, they didn't take any shots, and they did had they had a big zero, nothing. Tottenham, and that's just off, that's just off rip. You're not gonna win matches without taking any shots on goal. City looked like they have possession, 70-30. So I mean, yeah, that's tough, but I mean, at least get some t a shot attempts off. Tottenham, you killed me. Another thing about what I didn't like was Tottenham's lineup. They play better in a four four two with both. Um, Beth England and Martha Thomas playing up top. Shout out to the Gemini's because they're Gemini's. Shout out to them. But they play better with both of them up top together. And, and this is, look, and I was saying in the comments, I was like, why are you putting Beth England on the bench? Like, did she fall off or something? Because Tottenham, y'all splashed the cash on her to, and then she got injured, like when y'all signed her. That's unfortunate. But y'all splashed the cash on her to be pivotal in these moments, to allow and help your team break through against teams like City, even though it was going to be difficult based upon the prior performances. But still, you, you kept her on the bench. Make it make sense. She came in on halftime, but y'all had zero shots still when she came on at halftime. So it was very disappointing. Very disappointing if you're a Tottenham supporter. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um. So, uh, Hasegawa, I mean, she's getting a lot of love, a lot of currency, a lot of it because she's just a fabulous player. But what we got in the 32nd minute was her goal. Um, they had a similar, and here's my thing, Tottenham. Did y'all not see City kind of do this the first time they had a corner? They put the ball on the ground, one pass, and then Hasegawa took a shot. It was the same thing. They did it again, and but this time she scored it. This time she scored. She had too much time outside the box. She did, like, and just... A couple touches and boom, she hit it on the uh, and it hit the hit the uh, top of the goal post and went in the back of the net. That was our long goal in the 32nd, 34th minute for City. I thought eventually they get a second one, but I mean that's really all they needed. Uh, I do prefer Kirsten in the lineup because I feel that just what based upon what I've seen in the last two three matches, she's really really influential. Like she's just a really young cool player to watch so we need to make sure city this back line needs to not change we need we need alex greenwood we need layla we need uh alexandria and kirsten that's city's back line 
the other people I if I didn't mention your name you uh, no okay uh, so but and then Park definitely could be in the lineup in the middle and he's either gonna have to flip a coin between Laura Coombs and Angel Doll because Hasegawa is is a mainstay and then our front three we're not changing that um so yeah City ended up winning 1-0 um Tottenham really didn't give us a good match it I mean, no shots on goal. So Keatings was back there chilling most of the match. Uh, they didn't have that much possession anyways, but I feel City did look a little shaky because of the back line. And I feel like a little bit of the chemistry was kind of off. But overall, they did their job to get to the semifinals. Um, <clears throat> they have another big match next. And so this match um, was the quarterfinals for all the teams. But Arsenal and London City Lionesses ended up having their match postponed it uh, because of the pitch. I think there was like um, something wrong with the pitch. So they weren't able to play. So I was like, oh, Lord, looks like Arsenal either if they don't play soon, they're going to have uh, plenty of rest. This could favor them or this could hurt them. But they're going to have a little bit more rest than City when they face each other in the uh, FA Cup coming up next. So that should be very interesting. I hope that match was better than, the I think it's going to be better than the Tottenham match, but in general, uh, rest may be a factor. It may hurt Arsenal. They didn't get this match, but it may not hurt them because they got to rest. But only time will tell when we get there. But anyways, uh, this is the recap for Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur, which ended in a 1-0 win for City with a goal from Hasegawa, uh, the assist from Jess Park. They're going to advance. I guess they're either going to have to play. Hopefully, they don't run into Chelsea. Hopefully, they don't run into Arsenal either. But um, we'll see what happens at the end of the day. Let your girl need the flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Deuces.